think my question is a bit long. Uh, I was reading a Hadith in Thermasi where Adi, about Adi bin Hatim and the question, uh, the short version of it was that as the, the Prophet told uh, Adi bin Hatim that the Christians made halal what the scholars told them, yet it was haram. So that's how they worship the scholars instead of Allah. So my question is, keeping this hadith in mind, like my six-year-old goes to a secular school in a Muslim country where they have music and art classes. Mm. And I've already talked to my husband about removing her, but he's against it. So my question is that is, and while I'm obeying my husband and dropping the, the kid to school, uh, while fully knowing well that Islam has prohibited this, does this become shake of obedience? I'm, mm. Although I'm not happy about it and I'm not fearing my husband, but yet I'm doing this. Fine. Uh, got your question, Sister Amatullah. No, this practice is not considered shirk. So let me clarify this in the beginning. Any sin other than associating partners to Allah in worship is not shirk unless if the person dismisses the command of Allah concerning that sin or thing. In other words, drinking is such a major sin. And it is forgiven if the person seeks forgiveness. And if a person drinks, he's still, by the end, a Muslim. Adultery, likewise. Any sin other than associating partners to Allah in worship is not shirk. And as Allah Almighty said twice in Surah An Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48. And verse 116, Indeed, Allah does not forgive associating partners from in worship, yet He forgives any sin lesser than that. The ayah that you're referring to is of chapter number 9, ayah number 31. Which the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa happened to recite when Adi ibn Hatim al Ta'i entered upon him to discuss with him his message and so on. And Adi was Christian and he was learned. So he heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reciting, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا إِلَهًا وَاحِدًا لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ سُبْحَانَهُ عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ And the ayah briefly means that the people of the book have taken their monks and have taken their scholars as lords, deities besides Allah. And also they have taken the Messiah likewise. Uh, so Adi ibn Hatim said, wait a minute, we never worship our scholars and our monks, he said, yes, you do. Didn't they make the unlawful, lawful to you and you simply followed them and you obeyed them? He said, yeah, we acknowledge that. And he said, didn't they make the lawful, unlawful to you and you still obeyed them? He said, yeah. He said, this is how you worship them. Because you followed their instructions with regards to tahrim and tahlil, not with regards to committing the sin. Big difference. Big difference. So when somebody comes in the media and says, riba is not haram anymore. Why not? Because we are in the 21st century and it is needed. Drinking it should not be haram anymore because we need tourism. This person is a mushrik. He has indeed appointed himself as a Lord besides Allah and also follow him likewise. But <clears throat> I want to put my kids in good schools or I live in, uh, in the States and there is only a Catholic school, you know, in order to protect my kids from the public school environment, which is drugs, sex and, and, and you know, other evil activities. So I requested them, please, my son should not attend the Bible class. No problem. But he's attending in the school, which is a Catholic school, learning all the sciences, but he's not attending the Bible class. He's not learning that. And uh, the music class, it's perfectly okay. This is halal. And you got to watch over them and keep asking them if they have learned something 
new, something that you object to, and you communicate with the school. It is very unfortunate. In most Muslim schools, music classes are obligatory. It's in the period, like any other class. You know, in the Arabic countries, Quran, Quran, and Deen, religious studies, are not even important. Yani, whether you fail or you pass, you're passing. But music, drawing and painting, no. No, make no mistake about it. When you're stuck somewhere where you don't have a choice, what can you do? But you tell your kids, do not participate, do not take part of that, because in our religion, this is not uh, permissible. Some people have the ability of providing good homeschooling for their kids, like many Americans, non-Muslims. If you have this ability, do so. And if you have an Islamic school, private or public, which offers a, you know, a decent level of education, then don't think about international school. Because it's not only about the uh, music classes. It comes with a package. It is very scary. May Allah guide us to what is best.